Hello guys. I hope you're all happy and well wherever you are in the world. I just wanted to come in quickly and say, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just now recovering from an amazing birthday. I'm so excited. I took an extra day off, you guys, because I was enjoying the silence so much. I think it's because I don't want to face reality. So I always take my time coming back to you guys. But I hope you guys don't take it personally because I absolutely love you. And I'm so grateful to be connected. And thank you again for making my birthday so amazing. I got reinvigorated on my birthday because as you know, I've taken quite a bit of time off, not only the last two weeks, but last year, I felt like I spent a lot of time sort of regrouping. You can call it post-traumatic stress disorder because I believe that's what COVID was really. COVID was a big, to the people who are awake, it was a big shock. For the longest time, I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to leave our screens. But now a year on and we're still dealing with this false flag event and I had such an amazing day on my birthday. The rally was so amazing. The turnout was so amazing. It was so good to see all of you awakened souls and I connected with so many of you guys. It was so good to see everybody standing in their power. But when you pull back and you do take a look at this situation for what it is, the people that were at that rally, there were, even though there was a lot of us there, in the grand scheme of it, there was not a lot of people there standing in truth. And that's why it is so incredibly important why I thank you for everybody that went and who does stand in truth because my goodness, thankfully you guys are doing this. You're doing the hard work because it is not easy changing the course of history. But that's what every single one of you guys are doing when you're standing in your truth. You're stopping consciousness and you're walking in a new direction. And that is not easy. So even though there wasn't very many of us, considering the whole world is out there, ignoring the pink elephant in the room, at least we have you <laughs> there standing in truth. Because <clears throat> you guys, it is time to rise now. It is time to openly talk about this situation. And I'm starting to get quite irritated with the people who are awake. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. With the people who aren't awake, who aren't being present, who aren't questioning this narrative, questioning the science. I have some of my friends blindly believing what has been spewed out on the TV and on the mainstream. And the ignorance of people these days is so annoying and so cringe that I mean, when, when I come around people like you, I get very excited because most of the time on this planet, it's people who are ignorant and who are dumb to the truth. And it does take a very strong person to stand in truth, which is why I'm so grateful to be standing alongside you. But there are people on the planet right now who are annoying me because they're not standing in truth. They are living the lie. And it's been a year now, and some of the people are still 
living the lie. And not only are they living the lie, they're actually actively participating in the narrative that I have been spewing out for the last year. They are actively involved with that narration being rolled out right now. I mean, I've been so vocal and so loud about what's going on here, and yet there's still people who have not only listened to what I have to say, but who are blindly following the sheep into the slaughterhouse. And that's probably the most shocking part of this phase of the culling is that some people's egos are so big that they can't say, oh, maybe what Sheena is talking about is true. Maybe there's a reason why Sheena has been talking so loudly all this time. I mean, it's not even that I need, I don't even need to be recognized for standing in truth. I don't even need to be recognized, period. I just want my message to be recognized. I want people to start discerning the information that comes through their brain. And yet, we have people who are walking themselves into their own demise by the dumbness of their ego. They are, are just walking themselves into their, and I don't know if it's, they're doing this to piss me off. Like, I'm so annoyed with what Sheena's going to do. I'm going to completely do the opposite and follow the narrative. And they're showing off that they're following the narrative. And they're showing off that they're getting this solution. And they're showing me that they don't care about what I'm talking about. And it's their ego that wants to, to win. When in reality, they're not even going to be alive to, to discuss what happened. It's going to hit them. That's going to blindside them so quickly. That's why I, f I find it so, it's uncomfortable actually. It's to the point where it's uncomfortable. There are people trusting what's going on here. And so for those people, we just have to say RIP you know, good riddance to you. And, and I, I often do wonder what these people thinking about me. What are they thinking? Well, what, I mean, do they really think I'm just making this stuff up? Do they think I'm schizophrenic or do they think I'm ha I got some kind of mental problems? I mean, why would I be saying this stuff if it wasn't true? Why would I be so convincing or wanting to be so convincing if this wasn't true? And now I know we have a whole bunch of things that are in play at the moment. We've got the ego, we've got the complex complexity of the authority that's on the planet, the people who have assumed the authority here. They're running the show here and people are so dumbed down Sorry, people don't like that word. The ego doesn't like the word being dumbed down. But that's the truth. They have dumbed us down so much that they, we don't even know what's going on. And we're believing in these ridiculous laws because we don't know what else to do. And I say we. I don't mean me and you. I mean the people out there wearing the masks and social distancing. But, you guys, uh, it is time to rise. It is very much time to rise. So if you have been one of those people who've been talking, talking, talking the whole time like me, talking, that's very good. Thank you so much for talking. But if you haven't been talking, and or if you haven't even paid attention, it's now time to start paying attention. It's time. It's time. Before it's too late, the time is now. So as an awakened person who knows the truth, 
you now need to start breaking ties with people, I think. Because the people that are not listening to you right now, they will eventually die in the next few years. They are culling off the people that are dumb. And anybody that is not listening to somebody like you is dumb. So that's where I'm getting frustrated now at the people who aren't rising. It, the, the fact that we're not talking about these issues every single day, all day long, is a problem. And for the people that think that the reason why we're so, we're so angry, yeah, you people that follow you are so angry, there's a reason why we are angry. There is a reason why we need to address this. And so that's what I am urging everybody to start to do, is to continue to rise in whatever stage you're in. If you've never looked at the issues, it's time to start looking at the issues. If you've been looking at the issues but you haven't spoken out, it's time to start speaking out. And if you've been speaking out but you just have not been speaking out loudly, now is the time to speak out loudly. You'll be happy to know that I increased my one bus to a whole fleet of buses. I'm raising money for a whole movement because the time is now. Time is now, you guys. We have a whole bunch of dumb people walking into their demise because the people who knew the truth were just not loud enough. So it's time now to be louder in whatever phase you're in. It's time to be louder and it's time to continue to rise. And that's really all I wanted to say today was time to rise. It's time to start speaking out. It's time to start making this an everyday conversation with everyday people. It's not going to go away. And, I, and if anything, I'm in a place where we don't, we're not living the lie here. I've manifested a world where there's no masks except for on the bus drivers. That there's no corruption here. But there's corruption in every other city across the world. This is not going away. So the time to rise is right now. And on that note, you guys, I still have not gotten through any of my emails, but I want you to know that I am so grateful for your messages and every single comment and like I, I recognize. I try not to work on my computers because of the radiation. You know, we, we are under attack with all this assault. So I do try and keep my radiation down. And I, I like to send voice notes to people. So... Please bear with me. I am going to organize another Zoom call soon, though, because I do want to say hello to you guys. And you guys, we do got this. We have this. I am going to be moving forward. You guys, somebody's having some fun on the floor. Do you want to see? Moo and Cat are at it. Moo Anyways, that's my cue to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to love you and leave you, but... I will be back, you guys. Please, time to rise. Let me know what you are doing to educate people in your neighborhood, in your family. Also, if you need me to help, somebody's emailed me for some help, and I would love to pass on some suggestions and offer my time to educate. Okay, you guys. I love you so much. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.